floor one. So, for floor one, you don't want to get extremely back and cautious, but you don't want to go into the herd. A lot of people think, oh, it's just level one. What's the worst that can happen? Well, it is the tower raid. Just because it has level one in it doesn't mean it's hard. If you jump into the herd, you're going to die. So you have to get back. Don't go too back. The trick is to kind of float around the middle, take out all the people in the middle, and you can take out or eliminate the people behind you on the way. So if you have a good team and you, you know, don't go fully back or forward, you just stay in the middle, you're guaranteed to get past floor one on Warface. Floor two. Building. For floor two, it's kind of the same thing as floor one, but again, there's some more advanced enemies here, and there's a little bit more of them. You want to go back a little bit more if you're a medic, play your job, heal your teammates, maybe even revive your teammates if some of them die. If you're a rifleman, give some people ammo. They might have a weapon that doesn't have that much ammo. And um, if you're an engineer, heal with the armor. That is a big part as well. So you just want to take a little bit more of a step back and be a little bit more cautious on floor two because it's just a tiny bit harder than floor one. Floor three. For floor three, there's going to be some more advanced enemies. There's going to be melee, and there's going to be the guys with the shield. The guys with the shield are melee, but you can't really get them. If you're a medic, you can't get them because you don't have critical hits or really good aiming. And if you're a rifleman, you can get them, but you have to be a little bit more far back. Because if you're in a certain range of them, they're going to start charging at you, put you down, and they're going to whip their melee on you, and you are going to die. So... You need to stay back on this level, level 3. Don't go to the back back. If you want to do that, that's fine. But again, just stay a little bit more up so you, you're you not in far back range. But um, you don't want to get close to these guys. You want to get some critical hits. So get out your very far scope to... Um, if you're a sniper, by the way, this is where you come in because you need to get some critical hits on these guys with the shields and you, if you're a medic you need to help out your teammates that do get put down by these guys. Floor 4. So, level 4. Now, if you're watching my gameplay right now, I'm going to a flower pot where I jump up and I'm going to the back because in this level it's just melee. The enemies are only melee and Everybody needs to get back on these, because if you go in, you're dead. I, it, there's 12 melee people, they all hit you once at the same time, you're dead. So you need to get back to the back, and if you get on the flower pot that I'm on, you're good to go, because it's hard for the melee guys to get back there, one, and two, you're pretty much safe, because they can't do much damage when you're standing on that flower pot. Plus, if you're a rifleman, rifle man then you can shoot them all you have an overall range of them and you can get them pretty easily you have an overall view of all of them all the way back to the front and you can just take them all out really easily by standing right there and if somebody's already doing that it's fine um you just want to get back to that general area and you just you know if you have an mg just keep your trigger pulled and there's just gonna be herds and herds and melee's just get back that's the one thing you have to get back and if you're a medic just kind of camp just wait until they come up and then just you know fire trigger again and again and again and it works every single time so level four isn't that hard floor five level five now if you're just tuning in um, because you want, you've never done the Tower Raid mission before, and you're just looking at this for kind of a guide to know what to expect, level 5 is the main breaking point. Everybody has failed on this floor. In trying to complete the Tower Raid, everybody has failed on this level before. If it's your first time, you probably will. You probably will. Because you have such a tight space. The elevator is poison, so a lot of people for the first time have no clue that is... A part of it, a feature, so they still stay in the elevator, it poisons them, they die. So you will need at least one coin, I think. You, you want to have at least one coin, um, reviving coin, because you have to huddle up, as I'm doing right now, in between these little two in front of the two rails in front of the elevator, because 
one, it's harder for the melee meleeers to get you if you're in a big group like we're in right now. I am the safest point, and you need a medic to just be committed to healing. He he's not gonna use his gun; he's just gonna heal because you need that much healing. You need somebody to heal, 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 heal everybody. You know, just constantly because this is so hard and condensed. It's probably um, the floor called hell. It's <laughs> that's the one word and. At the end, you want to use a coin. Um, you want to use the coin at one second because you want to get past as much time being dead until you use the coin. If you're right next to the elevator like I am and you use the coin, then you just take one step back. You're in the elevator, doors close, the me melee can't get in, and you're good to go for the next floor. So it's key to stay next to the elevator. Floor six, level six. Now, for floor or level six, you need to have somebody that's committed to destroying the people or eliminating the people on the rails above you since you have to go to the back there's no way you're going to survive if you don't go to the very back you need to go to the very back you need somebody to take out the people um above you and a little behind you there's a rail there with a big window you know yeah and there's a lot of snipers on that now so you need somebody to get the people on there there's an assault on there now which i don't think is in use though um still there's an assault there that that means there's a guy with the shield that shoots really fast. It's like an M30 thing. So you need to get to the very back. You need somebody to get people on the rails. And you need a sniper. You need the sniper to destroy the people because there's going to be only guys with shields this one. You heard me. Only guys with shields this one. And you need to get some critical hits. And at the end, when all the people with the shields are grouped up, throw a grenade. And they'll all run to the front which means the shields are behind them so you can have an open floor to just demolish all of them from the backs or the behinds and there's gonna be um the grenade that destroys about like three kills about three of them and everybody else has an open shooting range to just kill all of them right there and again um one it says you know okay the lady says it's time to go to the elevator. Do not go to the elevator. You need to wait because there are still guys coming. It's not like go to the elevator. Okay, everything's done. There's still a lot more to be done. So don't listen to that lady. Only go when it's clear. Floor seven. For level seven, it's kind of like an upgraded level six. Kind of like one, two, and three are all matched. For different difficulties. And um, so it's kind of like six and seven are matched. 7 is a more difficult way. I think the Assault M3 is used. I'm not quite sure. But um, you are going to need a Medic. Not necessarily committed to only healing. But you need a Medic to heal a lot. You need a really, really, really committed Medic to healing. Yeah, you, the Medic needs to shoot off some bad guys in the way. Because there's no way you can't shoot. It's not... A team shoots and you're the one that doesn't so the medic needs to shoot anyway because you're not totally a team you need to <laughs> defend yourself in some sort so you need a committed medic that shoots a little bit here again it's upgraded level seven you need the snipers you need all the classes here you're gonna need the engineer maybe you don't necessarily need an engineer in this um tower raid ever but claymores are a big part of this that you could be used and you know they're a big help so I'd say you need all classes here floor 8 now for level 8 there is a big big difference there's there's no people that are gonna be on the ground no snipers no snipers either demons demons or demons whatever you want to call them and they have the RPG and they're just gonna shoot and there's like eight of them at once and if you don't know what an RPG is it's like a missile basically it's a missile that you sometimes you use them in co-op missions if you're taking down a mech or a plane they're the green things that take a while to reload you know and anyway it only has two bullets two missiles I'd say and they there's a lot of them there's like 12 at once and they just, once they find somebody, if you're out in the open, boom, 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 they all shoot at you at once. And, like, one of those bullets or missiles from just one of them could kill you. 
like it, even if they miss by two yards it's gonna kill you it has it's like a missile there's a bunch of people up there on the rails shooting missiles at you on the floor so you have to get to either the middle in the front room with the big desk that's kind of like a v and you need to get in the middle of that and you need medics you just you you're not going to be able to you might shoot them but other than that you need to huddle up in a ball next and be surrounded by something you need a big shield and you need a, at least one medic for i think there's about two groups cuz if there if you're all <laughs> huddled up in one group there's not room for all of you to shield because the shields are very small so there can't be everybody in one it's two places down where the desk and um if you go to the right side there's like a desk and a little cubicle place you can hide out in also again in the middle with a v if you go in the middle of that um you can go in prone and then just have a medic heal your you need to be healed so engineer and medic heal both of the armor N no shooting on this basically you can uh, see our strategy that we did here um, while you're watching this